Now, one of the most frequent questions we get on the show is, I'm about to buy a laptop, here is my criteria. And it is an amazing question because of the amount of choices, the amount of criteria, amount of personal preferences people have. So PC Quest went out there and did a survey to find out what really makes a laptop buyer tick and a laptop buyer who becomes a user. What do they really do? With me, Anil Chopra, editor. Sequest. And he's going to tell us a little bit about this study. So, Anil, welcome to the show. But first, why this study? Well, I think what's happening is that there's a huge Gen Y out there. The Indian population, a majority of it is the Gen Y, you know, youngsters between the age of 18 to 28, 27. And these are the ones who really love to buy the latest products. They are the ones who are interested in buying new products. This laptop. was uh, done in what? So how many colleges? This was done across seven cities. 800 students were covered. 800 students. Yeah. Okay, so let's start off now with, of course, the most important thing. I said right in the beginning, people and their purchasing of a laptop is dependent on multiple criteria. Yeah, well, more than 50% of the people, you know, who were buying the laptop for the first time said that they preferred design as their primary criteria. Okay, so now that we found out how the buying criteria could change, what else? What about usage? What about the other kind of patterns you found from this study? Yeah, some fairly interesting usage. So for different cities, the usage preferences were different. So Delights love to kind of, you know, uh, keep the information, collect information. The people in Lucknow love to organize their information. Okay, Kolkata people said that they prefer personal communication. They'd love to use IMs, they'd love to use chat, they'd love to use email, whatever communication was there. Mm -hmm. And the students in Mumbai said that they would love to watch movies, listen to music as their key preference. One of the things I know is that Toshiba was actually the first maker of the first laptop, right? How many people in the study knew that? Majority of them were actually startled because they just didn't know and that Toshiba was the first manufacturer and you know they made it way back in 1985. So here then is an example of what we've really been finding out from that study from PC Quest. Durability, looks, style, all put together with no compromise. Here then is this Z930. On first glance, the Z930 makes an interesting first impression. Design-wise, it doesn't strive to stand out too much from the competition, giving you a compact form factor that is pleasing to the eye and chamfered edges on the sides to make it easier to hold. It's when you pick it up you realize where the effort has gone into. The magnesium alloy build is extremely light, coming in at just 1.12 kg and it's durable too, able to withstand drops and bumps with ease. The Z930 houses a full range of ports from USB 3.0 to the SD card reader slot, while how Housing a second generation Intel Core processor, a full 8 cell battery, a 13.3 inch screen, spill resistant keyboard and SSD storage. Very impressive considering the extremely lightweight on offer. 